In the frozen expanse of Lapland, where roads disappear beneath meters of snow and temperatures plunge far below zero, mobility decides survival. For the Finnish Defense Forces, the challenge is clear. How to move troops, supplies, and sensors through terrain that stops even modern armored vehicles. The answer, unveiled at Finland's SECD Day 2025, is the SISU GTT, an all-terrain articulated modular vehicle built to thrive where wheels fail. It represents Finland's next leap in Arctic warfare readiness, a machine that embodies mobility, modularity, and the Northern Doctrine of Resilience. The Sisu GTT belongs to the same family as the Sisu GTP 4x4, the modular tactical vehicle already ordered in hundreds by Finland and Sweden under their joint common tactical vehicle program. The GTP focused on multi-role missions on conventional terrain. The new GTT extends that philosophy into the Arctic domain. Developed by Sisu Auto in cooperation with ST Engineering, it combines Nordic design with proven track mobility concepts similar to the Singaporean Bronco 3. The result is a highly versatile platform intended for patrol, logistics, medical evacuation, command, or even mortar carrier duties across snow, bog, and tundra. Unlike heavy armored vehicles, the GTT is articulated, two modules joined by a pivot, each with independent suspension. This configuration allows the vehicle to bend over obstacles and maintain traction across uneven ground. Both modules are powered, distributing torque evenly and enabling the GTT to cross soft soil, marshland, or frozen lakes where wheeled vehicles bog down. In winter operations, the GTT can pull sleds or tow auxiliary modules without losing maneuverability. Its chassis is optimized for low ground pressure and optional tracks or hybrid wheel track setups can be fitted depending on mission needs. The design is modular in every sense. The rear unit can mount interchangeable mission modules, a logistics flatbed, a 10-foot ISO container, a battlefield ambulance cell, or a weapons carrier equipped with a remote weapon station such as the Trackfire Ares or a 120mm Tremos mortar system. These modules can be swapped within hours, turning the same base vehicle into a completely different asset. This modularity not only saves money, but also simplifies logistics. The same spare parts, maintenance tools, and training curricula apply across the GTP and GTT fleets. For militaries operating with limited manpower, that commonality is invaluable. Technically, the Sisu GTT emphasizes practicality over glamour. Its armor protection is rated against small arms fire and shell fragments, prioritizing mobility and payload over heavy armor. The payload capacity reaches around five tons on the rear module, enough for troops, ammunition, or field equipment. The vehicle is equipped with a 150 kilonewton winch for self-recovery, can climb gradients of about 60%, and maintain traction in mud or snow where even tracked IFVs may struggle. Its powertrain uses components rated for extreme cold. Every seal, hydraulic line, and bearing is engineered to operate reliably at 40 Celsius temperature. Finland's engineers understand that the Arctic punishes overcomplication. Simplicity is survival. The timing of the GTT's appearance is strategic. Across the Nordic region, the balance between firepower and mobility is being recalibrated. Finland and Sweden, now fully integrated into NATO's northern defense architecture, are shifting from static defense to mobile deterrence, the ability to redeploy sensors, artillery, and air defense modules across dispersed icy terrain. In that doctrine, the GTT functions as the connective tissue. It can carry radar units like Saab's Giraffe 1X, serve as a forward observer vehicle, or transport light infantry between frozen lakes and forest lines. 
Its low heat signature and small profile also make it ideal for reconnaissance or special forces missions where stealth and endurance matter more than armor. The industrial implications are equally significant. Sisu Auto has positioned the GTT as part of a dual-track strategy, strengthen domestic production while courting export markets. At DSEI 2025 in London, Sisu and ST Engineering presented the GTT to potential buyers from Canada, Norway, and the UK, regions facing similar Arctic and subarctic conditions. This collaboration mirrors a broader Nordic ambition to make the region not just a consumer of defense technology, but a producer of niche, high-performance platforms for the Alliance. The GTT's mix of Finnish ruggedness and international partnerships aligns perfectly with that vision. Operationally, the GTT answers a doctrine problem that has haunted Arctic militaries for decades. Traditional wheeled APCs like the XA-180 or 8x8 Patria AMV offer excellent road performance but struggle in off-road snow or swamp. Fully tracked IFVs such as the CV-90 deliver firepower but are heavy, expensive, and maintenance intensive. The GTT fills the gap, a mid-weight, modular carrier that can support logistics, mobility, and light fire support at a fraction of the cost. In essence, it's the workhorse layer beneath the flashy systems, the machine that ensures everything else actually moves. In Finnish doctrine, this kind of mobility directly supports total defense, the concept that every part of society, civilian infrastructure, industry, and citizens contributes to national readiness. A fleet of modular, easy-to-maintain vehicles fits that logic perfectly. They can be mobilized for civil defense tasks, disaster relief, or humanitarian operations as easily as for combat. The GTT's ability to carry medical or communications modules also gives it a peacetime utility that strengthens public support for defense spending, a subtle but powerful political advantage in Nordic democracies. Of course, no new platform is without challenges. The Sisu GTT must prove itself in rigorous winter trials. Extreme cold affects hydraulic fluid, electronics, and rubber components in unpredictable ways. Sustained reliability in sub-zero operations is the true benchmark. Another issue is cost. While cheaper than tracked IFVs, articulated vehicles require more complex drivetrains and maintenance training. Balancing protection and payload remains delicate. Adding heavier armor could compromise flotation and agility, undermining its core advantage. For now, Sisu seems to have found the right equilibrium between survivability and mobility, but operational testing will confirm that balance. Strategically, the GTT also fits into NATO's wider northern network. The Combined Air Operations Center in Bodo now coordinates airspace from the North Sea to the Barents. Below that aerial shield, the GTT and its siblings could provide the ground mobility backbone for logistics and dispersed defense. As NATO develops cold weather doctrines and joint exercises in Lapland, such platforms ensure interoperability. Finnish GTTs can move Norwegian or Swedish modules, reflecting the region's emphasis on shared design standards and mutual support. The Nordefco framework already promotes this kind of integration. The GTT's modular approach is its mechanical embodiment. Beyond the battlefield, the emergence of the Sisu GTT tells a broader story about the Nordic defense mindset. While other regions debate spending targets, the Nordics focus on solving practical problems. How to move, how to endure, how to respond. The GTT is not a headline-grabbing super tank or stealth aircraft. It is a humble yet vital enabler. Its engineering reflects a philosophy rooted in geography. In the North, strength is not measured in armor thickness, but in reliability, adaptability, and persistence. In the next decade, as climate change opens Arctic routes and great power competition extends into the high North, the demand for such vehicles will only grow. 
nations that can operate in these conditions will control not only territory, but also logistics and perception, the ability to be present where others cannot. For Finland and its partners, the SISU GTT is a declaration that they intend to be present, prepared, and mobile. It may never make the front page of global headlines, but for soldiers traversing snow-covered forests at minus 30, it could be the difference between isolation and reach, between reaction and initiative. The Nordic Shield may be built of radar and missiles, but beneath it, vehicles like the SISU GTT keep the Alliance alive and moving, quietly, efficiently, and relentlessly across the Arctic frontier.